It's over. Nothing over there is gonna survive. Oh my god. Hey guys, Sean B and today we are testing out the water Onimusha Suki. He is using a fatal rune set to maximize his damage. Today we're gonna be testing out some sort of arena cleave because I have only been using this guy or the new unit in RTA but there are some other part in the game as well, right? This one in particular is max skill. There's no skill up for the passive. You gain attack power up to 250% whenever another monster get a turn so i misread this skill in the patch note video i'm very sorry about that so he just gained a lot of attack power and he doesn't crit which is like the order on emusha awakened to resistance is not the best thing ever because resistance kind of lame i hope he can awaken into like accuracy that'll be so good but none of them does they awaken to resist or speed even though they kind of need accuracy for skill 1 for the defense break, which is really important. He's using Fatal Will, attack, 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 trying to maximize damage. If you guys are looking for artifact, you want to look for either life drain, skill 1 accuracy, or additional damage proportionate to lost HP. Oh wait, additional attack stats, so you can do the most damage possible. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, the place where people share their skills. Yeah, it is an online learning platform where you can learn so many different skills from video editing, animation, to marketing, to web development, or even entrepreneurship. You can learn so many different things on Skillshare. The classes is a combination between video lessons and class projects, and you can take any class anytime, whenever you want, wherever you want, however you want. It's a YouTube content creator. That sounds very fancy. I need to learn video editing from YouTubers. And on Skillshare, there are so many amazing YouTubers that I can learn from. I saw Dan Mays who worked with Casey Neistat for his video. Casey Neistat. I can learn from the guy who worked with Casey Neistat. I'm such a fanboy by now. But you cannot get more specific than that for YouTube video editing skill. And you can learn a new skill too. And with 2021 being in a situation where we are right now, I think learning inside in your gaming PC setup is pretty cool. So the first 1000 of you who go down there and use my link, you can get a free premium membership to explore all the classes that you want. And after that, it is less than $10 per month for an annual description. Big shout out for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. So the cleave is going to be a very simple and traditional cleave with strip, reset, attack buff, defense break, and damage to finish off the enemy unit. Miho is a very popular unit on defense because of her ability to not die. So the new unit fits really well into the cleave. And also because you are taking turn two most of the time, they will be taking their first turn and then they'll give you free attack. And after the three unit in your team move, you get three more stack for your attack stats. So he fit really well into a turn two cleave. All right, let's go for a simple cleave here. It's going to be a strip. Hopefully, it doesn't stun the Tiana. As long as Tiana is fine, we should be good. Imagine that Miho stunned the Tiana. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine the Miho stunned the Tiana. So, we're going to go for the attack buff defense break. This is the perfect setup. Oh, we missed two important defense break. I want to go for the big reset here. Hopefully, we get it. We're going to get the reset on all of them. And hopefully... This is going to do some sick damage. Let's go, baby. <laughs> 40k on the Miho, baby. Oh my god. That's some that's some good damage right there, I can't lie. Not as good as the fire one, though, I think. Suki. Not as good as the fire one, though, I think. I think the problem with the other two only Musha is that they need some sort of damage being done to them and they can start getting stronger. But the fire one, the fire one get the maximum damage potential right off the bat because you don't need to be like getting stacked so you don't need to lose HP on that good shit. You just starting off strong. And I think that's why the fire one is on the top. 
Meanwhile, the other Onimusha, they are not bad, but they just get kind of forgotten, you know? Even though the damage, I think, at the maximum potential, they are probably going to be the same. The Fire One has the highest base stat as well for the attack stats. The Water and the Wind One get more HP and defense. I don't know. I don't know about defense, but they do have more HP. So they are tankier. But the damage, I think, is roughly the same-ish. Not really, but roughly the same. Okay, there's another Miho here. The good thing about this unit is not just the multiplier. There are many good things about this new unit. It used attack slot 4, which you only use for Bomber. And you can only build so many Bomber, honestly. So you will probably have some sort of attack slot 4 that you don't really use. You can slap onto them. And they do very consistent damage. They can still glance, they can still crushing hit. But the damage overall is fairly consistent, even on off element because you don't rely on critical hit at all. So you do very, very good damage all the time. You don't have to pray for like, oh, I need to crit. When you build for a crit damage build, you have to find good crit rate, and then you have to find good crit damage, and then you have to pray that you crit unless you build max crit rate. So there's a lot of thing with a crit damage build unit, even though they potentially do more damage overall. But with this kind of unit, you only need to worry about the attack stats and that will allow you to use rune you don't really use before and you don't really have much RNG with the damage output. If you're new to the game and you see a lot of YouTube video for these guys, I don't think they're very good for dungeon. Oh my god, did my Galleon lost his skill? Did he? God damn it. So what do we do now? Hum. <laughs> I'm gonna defense break the Juno. We're gonna try to reset the Triana. And I think we should be able to kill here, potentially, because we get their passive away, right? Oh, we don't even have the AoE. We're gonna finish up the Juno. Or we can't even finish up the Juno. The damage is not the best, honestly, but it's definitely not the worst. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Relax. Can we kill? <laughs> so good, man. So good. We do like. 50k on the Miho. It's so easy. Like killing Miho is like no problem with these guys. They are just straight up hard counter to Miho. It's, it's incredible. What was I talking about again? I think I was talking about new player. So if you're new player, um, oh my god. We are in trouble. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna take some damage here and hopefully survive. Don't rush to build these guys, okay? They're, they're cool and all. You know, YouTuber, we, we like to hype things up. But Oh, oh, that's a dead boy. <laughs> oh my god, the, the prompts is so insane. They are not particularly useful for dungeon, in my opinion. Like the 2A units, they're still, they're still much better. I'm gonna revenge. They're still much better, okay? Like, you can put him into dragons, he's gonna do okay damage. But it's not gonna be as good as like a damage from a crow with maximum potential okay can you stop okay they're taking a lot of turn to give me more stack which is cool but come on i can't i can't be losing to this i think in rta this guy's gonna be fitted for like a long battle where nobody's dying quickly and he can gain stack like all the time And then when, when when the clock is ticking, when you gain more attack stats, and together with the stack that he can gain as well, he's gonna hit hard. And he's gonna do a pretty good job at killing enemy tanky team like the Arta Ractal team. But this guy is a water unit. And we all know how wind unit is dominating RTA or has been dominating RTA since the only kind of CC unit that come to us want to make is wind unit. So they pretty much just destroy anything water. That's why the fire one is even better because the wind unit that can face the fire one, they can't kill him, right? The the, the Gani, the Changpeng, the Okianos, they're gonna have a very hard time trying to kill the fire one. That's why the fire one is just way better even though i think the damage output overall should 
roughly be the same because they're the same unit the fire one has a bit more stat and that is about it and they all have some sort of mechanic that allow them to to gain damage the win one is kind of lame though like it is based on his lost hp and you kind of want to keep them alive right so if it's based on lost hp then the more he heal back with his life drain the less damage he does so it's kind of awkward all the time <laughs> when you want to use the win one we're going to cover the win one soon if you're interested hey let me know in the comment section down below but today we're covering the water one so far the cleave has been pretty clean honestly it's been not bad but i haven't seen a single artemia or ragdoll yet i think it's also cool that every single one of them has aoe skill this guy has the one that recover hp I think it is so much better than the Endure buff that you're not even guaranteed to get. The skill tip of this guy is so much better. I think that's one way for them to keep the Fire One in check. Is that the Fire One has the weaker skill too. I think this is much better. Much, much better. And the animation is also like just sick. Look at that. <laughs> and there's no inconsistency with damage, man. That's, that's, that's just too good. I've been playing this game for too long. Praying for crit is just something we do every day, literally. But this guy, oof, ooh, ooh, ooh. Using the rune I don't use, doing the damage consistently like nobody before, like a bomber, pretty much. It's just, <laughs> it feels so clean whenever you use it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Also, you can notice when you crit in the game, the game has a small shaky effect to make you feel the damage a little bit better. But these guys, they don't crit, so whenever they attack, there's none of that shaky effect-ish, which make people think that it doesn't really do a lot of damage because we are conditioned to be to be thinking about the shaking effect when you crit. But these guys, they, they, they don't make the screen shake at all. Even Harmonia when she crit or Galleon, it shake the screen a little bit. So you always feel like you are not doing a lot of damage, but you actually are doing a lot of damage. <laughs> it's even kind of ironic, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird, but look at that. There's, there's no feeling of damage, but he did like almost 20K with no attack buff, and that was a lot of damage. So it's also cool in that way. It makes it clean and a bit weird when you attack the enemy and you do so much damage. Wait, I'm at rank 58? Damn. All right. We gotta give him a go in RTA as well, okay? We gotta give him a go in RTA as well. I'm on a viewer's account, so hopefully I don't lose too much and de rank him. But we're gonna use double, double Onimusha in some RTA matches. We have the Fire one on Violent, and we have the Water one on Violent as well. Hopefully, he gets some cool matches, but that is a scary start. Let's go with his LD Nat 5 as well. This guy is so good now. He is. Probably the best immunity unit, pretty much. He's, he's amazing. One violent problem, this guy, if you build him on violent, can change the game because not only he cleanse, provide long immunity duration, and he also just protect your team from damage with invincibility. And he is a immunity unit with a solid control skill. That skill two, two turn silence. Ooh, you can violent pro out of two turn silence, baby. You're still gonna be silenced. Oh shit, that looks kind of scary there. We need a strong last pick here. Oh, that Okian also too. He's gonna ban my immunity, right? We have to pick another immunity. And... Oh, that looks rough. We have to take this guy away. I think. But we have Bird though. He's gonna ban one of the immunity units. So we're gonna ban now... Let's ban the Yan Hong here, okay? So he doesn't have a lot of healing and support that one unit is like an army okay we have suki perfect he banned out the op one he think this one is not very good time to prove him wrong baby okay what's going on here you're gonna buff first my what do you call that my only is the fire one and he doesn't have max skill it's my fault but this guy he does have max skill which mean he's gonna defense break Never mind. He's gonna defense break. Never mind. <laughs> okay, now I know to not devil on my stuff. Oi, he stripped everything. Oh, we are in a bad spot, bro. I think we lost. Are we? Did we lose? 
I think we lose. I think I shall keep my Poseidon. I mean, not Poseidon, Pontos skill. Um, to, to cleanse, like, right now. Okay, we're gonna try to silence him. A good silence. Um, come on, man. Come on, Suki. You, you need to violent prop out of this. Come on, buddy. You can heal it up by just killing somebody. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, dude. How did that Okeanos not take a single defense? Right? I can't believe it. Let's go again. A ragdoll first pick. Oh, we gotta take this. He's about to take that. A lot of people pick ragdoll and then they pick this guy immediately because they know everybody's gonna pick this to counter him so now he lost the oh my god oh what do i do <laughs> hmm you know what let's go dude let's go we don't care we're just gonna go all in oh my god this guy is stacked with ld nat 5 how the hell what do i do um, we're gonna ban the immunity unit that protect them. And we're gonna pick Miho to scare him. We have our own LD95. And we're gonna ban this. And hopefully he picked the crit rate leader. Right? Imagine he doesn't ban Miho and pick crit rate leader. I'm just gonna press auto and watch and laugh. Yeah? We're just gonna press auto easy. They can't stop me from attacking and killing somebody, right? So let's go for this guy. Because I think he's gonna be the one with the most damage. We have 8,000 per hit. It's right off the bat. Like, we're gonna need my boy Suki to, uh, to I don't know, gain a lot of stack to get to the 8,000. They have not much difference in rune quality. <laughs> and would you look at that? Oi, 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 oi. Oi, can I move? Can I move? Imagine I move right there. Imagine. Imagine! Imagine! Oh wait, I supposed to get Endure? Oh my god, the reflect damage was before the Endure. Oh, come on, bro. I thought I would get Endure right there. Okay, we need to kill... If I kill Ragdoll, I pretty much win this game, right? And there's nothing stopping me against Ragdoll. Easy. We win this game. There's literally nothing you can do to me right now. <laughs> There's literally nothing. We're gonna gain turn constantly. And even though that dark guy is a sick provoke unit, I'm not gonna lie. There's nothing much you can do besides provoking, right? Defense break? Hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt, boy. Look at how he gained turn constantly. Like, this guy is kinda OP, right? Because the skill one has like an 80% chance to provoke. So he's always provoking me. And he's always gaining full attack bar. And skill 2 has a defense break and 2 turn cooldown. This unit is kind of broken. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this unit is kind of broken. And then he, he healed back a little bit from, from, from people attacking him. Come on, defense break. Yo, the resistance is also on, on, on point. Okay, finally he missed a provoke. And here's our chance to kill. Defense break. I just need defense break. Okay, we are at like... 6,000 per head, and that is not even at the, the khaki level. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually losing. Oh shit, I'm actually losing. Okay, we have to kill somebody, like, right now, but I can't. This guy's OP. Oh wait, he used it, which means he, he's not gonna get a turn. Oh, he's gonna get a turn here. I just can't- wow, this unit is nuts. Oh my god, I can't kill this guy, it's impossible. Because he has a is a healer to back him up. Oh my god, I can't kill him. I literally can't. My Fran has not taken a normal turn ever. That's that's just insane. That's just absolutely insane. My Fran has not taken a normal turn at all. <laughs> oh my god, finally he missed something. Okay, can she do anything? I need to buff from the Fran. But I can't. Oh and a violent proc. I just need to defense break him once and then violent proc and then we win. Oh, no violent proc though. It's gonna provoke here. Oh, he missed the provoke. He's gonna heal, right? But can I do enough damage to, to kill? Okay, we, 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 we win, right? There's no way Beaver Chow can win me. He, he can't swap the HP thing. Oh my god, relax, girl. Relax a little bit, shall we? Can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? Oh my god. Okay, 
The last one standing is Suki against an army of LD Nat 5. If I didn't make the mistake with Kaki, I think it could have been a little bit easier. Okay, now I know that I can't get the Endure before I'm gonna die to reflect damage from Ragdoll. Now we know, okay? Now I learned a little bit. Okay, we do have immunity easily. He can't strip that easy. That's a Vile Oki right there, quite slow, which means he's gonna be proccing a lot, which means I should be taking him out. Oh my, are you kidding me right now? Can I sleep? Can I kill? Come on. Dude, it's supposed to be a Suki video, man. Can you like, relax? <laughs> Can you like, relax, bro? Oh my, my Oni, my Oni had no chill. <laughs> Oh my, dude, because these units, they have defense but in skill 1. So a violent proc is very impactful. That's the problem. If you violent proc, it's just really, really impactful. Sleep? Oh, I wish I have a sleep right there. But we can Oblivion. Can we? I mean, not Oblivion. Endure? Can I kill? I kill. I have Endure. Now, Endure is OP because I can't die. <laughs> that one time when Endure is OP, I, I shit talk Endure a lot. I'm just saying. But that one time when Endure is actually gonna matter. Oh my god, these units are just nuts, bro. They, they, they defense break all the time. That's that's the brutal power of the skill one. It's the defense break. And after you get defense broken and they get one violent, you're gone. Not a lot of units in the game can can have that. You know? Not a lot of units in the game can can just get a violent proc and suddenly one of your units is gone. <laughs> There's no way this Vega can ever do anything, bro. They're all gonna get chopped up nicely. They're gonna die. They're gonna die, bro. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. 40k on an off element unit. I just... <laughs> oh my god, dude. No wonder people are screaming about nerf already. No wonder. <laughs> I'm just chopping up people like freaking onions. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Nothing over there is gonna survive. Actually, that darkness might be on Nemesis. But do I look like I care? <laughs> do I look like I care? Oh my god. <laughs> just stop. Stop this madness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright boys, that was really really fun to play with the Water Onimusha today. Gotta say, he's not as good as the Fire One. We can see them side by side there with the Fire One just dominating in damage output. But if you have him, he's still an option and he's not gonna be the candidate for the nerf list that people are talking about because I think his damage is more balanced-ish. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash like if you do and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!